Thank you. Thank you to the Academy. Thank you to my parents and God. Thank you. I'm Michael Laird, and I think I was invited here because I skated and and I still skate. I skated the Lockhart Skate Park this morning, which is really radical, and probably because I helped design it, it's super extreme. Um, I'm not a very, I didn't have anything linear here, uh, so you'll have to bear with me. But I was commonly mistaken for being Terry Laird's younger brother. That isn't correct. But the first time that I did see Terry Laird was in Raoul's. The floor was empty. Terry Laird was sitting in a chair, head banging to nothing, and blood pouring out from her mouth to her chin. And I thought, I'm in. I want to be a part of this. This is where I need to be. Um, in 1977 and 78 and 79, I lived in England, and uh, all the punk went off, and I said, I'm in for that too, because prior to that, I skated and was very drawn to anything musical that was other, anything that was alienating, anything that expressed the disdain that I had, I don't know, Pink Floyd animals, you know, super depressing, Join count me in, all that stuff was for me. So when I came back to Austin, I had ran into Chris Gates and Nathan Gates and Tim and the first thing they wanted were my cassette tapes. Do you got any oi? You know, what are, so we bonded on some of that. And they had built a half pipe, one of the first in Austin. And that's very instructive because here back then was DYI aesthetic that Chris failed to mention. If it's not there, let's fucking do it ourselves. We're going to do it. And that reminds me of the Texas ethos, because Texas is the absence of water. <laughs> and when it rains in Texas, as you know, these flash floods can be catastrophic. So the creation of long curved drainage ditches informed us of a way to surf when none of us, we're not surfers, we're feral animals, and we have a lot of uh, aggression and we don't belong. Except we found tribes, and these tribes in Texas existed in Austin, San Antonio, El Paso, Dallas, Houston, anywhere where there were weirdo others, those people got skateboards, maybe they started a band, maybe they'll build half pipes themselves, and they're gonna go on with their other mentality, as I have and every one of you have, that we're gonna, you know, figuratively skate through life, and I'm gonna be in the nursing home listening uh, to my black flag in my mind <laughs> singing these songs that were my nursery songs and you people wrote them and i'm going to be there in my uh, dementia but i will remember all of these 45s that i had and uh, and it's thanks to you i want to thank all of you not just for my award but for allowing me to come to these shows all the time. And I didn't know your name, but I remember you. I remembered you then. And I had an overwhelming feeling of safety that here, the harm from the outside world, the harm from my childhood, was not going to infect me. Here is safety. So I kept going, and I'm still in, you know? I, um, thank you. I, here's my shout out to you. 
Um, I want to also shout out to the Big Boys show, after which in every single one, they would say, now go start your own band. What is a greater, uh, th there's nothing greater that could have been said uh, for that. So I want to thank them too. Um, how are we doing on our thing here? You, got, you have half a minute. Half a minute? Yep. I'll give my time back to the next excellent person. But <laughs> you come to my time. Yeah, I'm going to share my time. And thanks for everything. Yeah.